besides that case of shotgun shells in the truck. It's kind of hard to shoot birds without shotgun shells. dove hunt today in Jones. We've got a good friend Steve Henry and Steve Center here with us. Uh, we shot a bunch of pigeons yesterday too, sitting on the same spot. We got the mojos out. The sun's starting to peek over right now. But we had some really good action yesterday. Uh, I fell out of a tree stand a couple weeks ago, so I got a broke foot. So this is about the only type of hunting I can do where they can just drive me out here and kick me out. There's two right there. We got birds moving in, stay with us. Steve, we got them. Yeah, it's perfect. We need to do all the work. Great idea. <laughs> well, sling lid at them, that's how you do it. I'm trying to watch. Them. Well, my name is Stephen Henry. I was born in Atlanta, Georgia, December 23rd, 1983. Uh, I have one beautiful wife, one beautiful son, and one beautiful daughter. Uh, my son is six years old, and my daughter is 18 months old. Her name is Olivia Catherine, and we have my little boy is Aiden. I'm from Atlanta, Georgia, as I said, but I moved to Oklahoma in 2011, August of 2011 to be exact. Um, I moved here to pursue treatment at the Tulsa Cancer Treatment Centers. Um, in June 22nd, 2011, I was diagnosed with cancer. Got birds flying everywhere, sorry. Well, on this next hunt, Steve and I were over bow hunting on the river right here behind us. It's mid-November. Mid uh, things are just starting getting exciting in the woods. Bucks start cruising around, moving everywhere. Stay tuned. This is Steve Henry's first boat kill. It's November 9th, Oklahoma County, Oklahoma. About 4 o'clock in the afternoon. Let's see what we can get done. Uh, went back to the doctor again to run some more tests, ran an MRI, found a tumor on my liver. Come to find out at the age of 27 I had liver cancer. You know that was my my prognosis was was pretty much death um, and I wasn't going to deal with that. So I started, my wife and I started to look for other options, other cures, other you know just means of treatment. So we found the Cancer Treatment Center in Tulsa. Uh, this is where we are now. We, we moved to Oklahoma City with her family. Uh, is from here, so we, we moved here to be close to Tulsa so I could get treatment there. Basically what I'm looking at now is I just, I'm on a liver transplant plant list and I just need to wait and wait my turn and see if God has one for me.
Life with this disease has been very difficult, uh, but I refuse to let it make my quality of life worse than it has to be anyway. Um, I refuse to quit working. I refuse to go on social security disability. I refuse to be that person that's sick, laying in the bed, needing someone to take care of them. And not to mention my love of hunting in the outdoors. I would have to stop that if I just laid around and I wouldn't be able to do anything. I have since then got more enjoyment out of the outdoors. I, I look at things a lot different. Um, my sight on things now is, is you know, the, the average person sees the sun a different way, I think, because, you know, really knowing that your time could be limited makes your life so much different. Um, you get so much more enjoyment out of the small things. As you can see, the shot was far back. There was a limb in between Steve and the deer and he didn't see it, it was kind of out of focus and it glanced the arrow as it headed towards the deer and made the shot a little bit far back, but he definitely got lucky and hit that femoral artery. About to go look at the arrow, shot a nice eight pointer, about four o'clock. We're gonna go check out the arrow and see what we find. Deer. I know he's laying over here, hit that artery. He's got to be laying. He was bleeding way too bad. Get on it. Blood everywhere in here. Got to be here close. Oh, there he is. Yeah, baby. Yeah. Yeah. There he is. That buck, he's a beauty. A little character right there. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Got an Oklahoma County 10 pointer here. Doing it in here on November 9th, Oklahoma County, Oklahoma. Let's get him done. 
can't even say how excited I am about this. Biggest buck I ever shot in my life. Oh boy. So excited. You know, Steve's one of the toughest guys I've ever encountered in my life. You know, I mean, his medication tears his body down, you know, and he, but it doesn't matter. He's always, you know, in good spirits, got high hopes, and he jumps in with us every chance he can to go hunting. He's still going. <laughs> scared. <laughs> scared of me. Scared him off? Yeah. Dad gum dragonfly got me again. <laughs> every I, time I, they I did. Every every time. Time. Uh, not yet, not yet. I'm not ready. Oh, well, the birds weren't flying as well this morning as they were yesterday. Yesterday the guys had a pretty good day. They they pretty well cleaned them up. But uh they were flying good enough this morning. We got a mess. We've got, I don't know, 15 or so down here. We're gonna run back to the truck, clean these, fry them up real quick, have us a little lunch while we're out here. And uh, see if we can't get back on them a little bit after lunch. See if they're coming flying through, landing in the decoys again. You so, cooking something? I'm cooking something. Oh yeah, see you told you. Hey, that's why Stick we bring us. Steve. <laughs> My present situation is that I have stage three liver cancer. I'm waiting right now for a liver transplant. If I don't get one, probably within the, you know, the prognosis is about six months. Uh, coming to terms with that is very difficult. Very, very difficult. You know, my, honestly, uh, my children don't know. I haven't really, as a parent, I don't know how to tell them. It's just a, a very difficult thing for me to, to to even figure out a way to explain to a six-year-old child that their father probably isn't gonna be there to see them graduate high school. Or my daughter, that I won't be there to walk her down the aisle. But coming to terms with that also includes in knowing that anything could happen at any time. Miracles happen every day. I know they do to, ever, to people all over the world. So you gotta keep your hopes up. Clean up these dove and these pigeons. Take them down here by the lake and kind of rinse them off and clean them up. And we'll cook them up and have some lunch here in just a little bit. I am not. I'm not gonna go hunting without having a plan of eating something. That's just me. Yeah. You can feel it underneath here. You can feel the, the breastbone at the bottom. So at a point, right there, I'll just take and squeeze, and you can pull the skin apart. Heal it. Right off the breastbone. Gotcha. See? See, this is the first time, we've ever first time I've ever cleaned it. A dove. I 
I love when me and you go hunting together. <laughs> Um, wheat pasta, onions, mushrooms, dove, bacon will go on top, uh, and then some heavy whipping cream, a little bit of seasoning, a little bit of paprika, of course some garlic, and I think that's about it. This is the best thing I've ever seen come off the tailgate. <laughs> <laughs> you know the coolest thing about this meal? Them suckers were flying around about 30 minutes ago. Thank you, sir. Yes. Mmm. Good eating. Good hook. Oh, yeah. Mm. You outdid yourself. Yes, sir. See, now you gotta I don't top. know if you're going to be able to top this. I was about to say, one. now you got to top it every time you come hunting. Now Steve had confided in me that he had to sell most of his hunting equipment, his bow, his guns, a bunch of his gear, just to pay for his monthly medication. Well, you know, I really felt like the Lord was leading us to do something for Steve, so I got on the horn, I called Tracy and Jason over at Martin Archery, you know, kind of told them like, hey, you know, this is what we got going on, you know, Steve's situation and whatnot, and they jumped all over it, and overnight it's a bow down here, um, Victory Arrows sent him, um, Steve a dozen arrows, uh, River Bottom picked up a release, some sights, and the rest of the stuff to go on his bow. And we were absolutely stoked about being able to present this to him so he'll be able to hunt this season. I know you had to sell all your hunting stuff. No, you don't have dude. a bow. No, uh, -uh brother. Well, there you go. No, uh, uh. On behalf of Martin Archery and River Bottom Pursuits, leashing hunt now. Yeah. You're welcome. Yeah, I'll leave you. Yeah, man. Season opens in a week. Shake it, man. Golly. <laughs> oh, that is awesome, guys. That is awesome. Awesome. Oh, you're more than welcome, dude. We are happy to do it. Hey, God's been good to us. We might as well pay it forward. So, I'll set it up God, for you. Well. We can get you to shoot. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what to say, dude. I, I, ah. No one's ever given me anything. You know? oh, don't worry about it, man. Like I said, Hopefully you'll get some blood on it here. Thanks for coming out with us today, brother. Yeah, I really appreciate it. Thanks for cooking, Steve-O. Anytime. Oh, that's awesome. You know, Steve's story has been an inspiration to us as a team. You know, we spent a lot of time here on Earth, you know, just complaining about things when we really don't, you know, realize how good we have it just to have good health. You know, I, I, I'm guilty of this on a daily basis. Um, I hope that this episode has been an inspiration to you as it has been for us. Thanks for watching River Bottom Pursuits. God bless.